Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, today we continue in the part two. We're going to look into the differences between good and service and also 10 strategic decision in operation management. So the outcome for this part is to compare and contrast the differences between good and services okay we already know that in part one goods is making a product okay and a service is to create okay service to the um, uh, customer okay and then we also need to identify 10 strategic decision in operation management okay what is production of good good is tangible something that we can touch okay and deliver of service is more on act okay we we, we go for a movie okay uh we go uh we have our uh order delivery okay like food panda and so on so that that kind of services okay so if you want to compare usually when we talk about goods is tangible and for services act and service uh, include okay the the government agency the retail and then we also financial service for banking and then we have healthcare okay like hospital personal service and then we have business service and also education okay don't forget education it fall under service okay take a look at this uh, figure okay these are the good and service and this is how you can uh, categorize or this is uh, you you can uh, put uh, this uh, for example this kind of activity whether it's under goods or service here we can see the automobile assembly okay it's goods because you produce the car for the automotive and then you uh, do home remodeling okay and then uh, on the fast food is in between okay uh, we 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 have service and also we have goods in which we can get the food and then uh, computer repair and restaurant meal uh, we have software development okay it's more on service and then also surgery and teaching okay so you can see that goods is easy to identify but service sometimes they have both right Okay, these are the differences between uh, goods or production and service. Okay, so it's easier to differentiate when you put it in the table. And also we go by the area. Okay, for example, final product. So final product for uh, goods is tangible. It can be touched. And then service is intangible. Okay, and then in quality, uh, goods is easy to measure okay in the manufacturing you can measure whether how many rejection you have okay uh, but in service they don't have specific measure so it's hard to uh, to measure the quality sometimes you just have the face okay happy face okay sad face angry face at the counter but they don't have any uh, measurable item okay for example uh, is this service is reject or this is good okay so it's hard to uh, measure in quality okay location selection for example if uh, you're producing goods you will uh, plan to have your factory near the raw material or you must have a label available near your factory but for the service okay for example restaurant okay for example uh, you want to open the bank or the, the cinema you will go near to the customer where people uh leave okay maybe near a housing area maybe near a university so they will have more customer coming in okay uh, layout design okay for production or goods we look into productivity base and for the service on the layout we go into the service delivery is it easy to uh, create the service and maybe we look into how the customer feel okay uh, in the uh, service area and then in human resource and job design okay we in in, in manufacturing okay producing of goods is more on technical skill but for service it's more on the customer service okay customer interaction so all that must be trained for supply chain okay we look at for the goods it's very critical if we don't have enough supplier okay we don't have a, a very reliable supplier so we can 
stop production because the raw material not coming in. Okay, that's that's very critical. But for service, they don't really have a, a complex supply chain. Okay, because they produce services, they don't rely on the raw material. Okay, let's look at the inventory. Okay, in the goods. We have inventory, we have raw material, we have WIP means that we're in progress, we have finished good, but in service, we don't have uh, much inventory, okay? We cannot store people, we cannot store our employees uh, in the store, okay? So service, usually we cannot store, okay? Uh, we go into scheduling, okay? Uh, maybe it's easier to, to, to do scheduling in the goods but for service is more on the customer demand okay sometimes we don't know how many customer will come into our bank we don't know how many customer uh, our patient will come into the hospital for maintenance when we look at maintenance on the goods or in the manufacturing we always do preventive maintenance okay predictive maintenance but for the service usually you must have very fast recovery team is that if anything down you have to solve it there and then because if not uh, your customer is waiting already compared to manufacturing if your machine down you still have a buffer because uh, the customer don't uh, already there okay the the, the uh, customer it's not yet there so but for service yeah the customer is already in the uh, bank in the hospital and so on okay uh, in the transportation, production of goods is transportable because it's tangible. But for service, usually we don't transport service. Okay, we don't have the bank don't move around. And uh, for the customer interaction, production or goods, they don't uh, interact customer directly. Okay, in 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 which sometimes when they have complaint and then they will interact with the customer. But for service, the customer is in front of you. Okay, so if you have uh, you have problem and so on, you have to uh, solve it as soon as possible. Okay, let's look into this video. When you grow up, there are a lot of different jobs you can do. People can pay you to fly planes, build buildings, bake cakes, or be a doctor. You can also sell things to people, such as cars, clothes, books, or even pets. The first group of things are services. The second group of things are goods. So, what is the difference between goods and services? Goods are things that you can touch, feel and take home with you. If you buy a good, you then own it. Services are things other people do for you, which you pay them for. If you get a haircut, that is a service because you are paying the hairdresser to cut your hair. If you pay a bus driver to take you somewhere, that's also a service. You can't touch a bus ride or take it home with you. A bus ride is a service, not a good. Let's look at some more examples. Remember, goods are the things that you can touch, feel and take home with you. Services are things that you pay people to do for you. Okay, here we go. This is Jenkins. Today, he went to the shops and bought some clothes, some books and got his bike fixed. Which of these are goods and which of these are services? Clothes and books are goods because they are things that you can take home with you. Getting your bike fixed is a service because Jenkins paid the repairman to do something for him. Okay, so it's a very simple video on how to differentiate goods and service. Okay, now we look into the trend strategic decision, okay, by the operation managers. Okay, first design of good and service. Define what is required of operation. And product design determine the quality, sustainability, and human resource. The question that usually asked for this decision is what good or service should we offer? Okay, what specialties that we have? And how should we design this product and service? So usually the marketing department will give you information on what are the customer wants and Need. So from there, you have the idea what to produce. Okay, in managing quality, quality is very important in the uh, operation. So determine the customer quality expectation. Okay, what are the customer really wants? Okay, and establish policy and procedure to identify and achieve the quality. So you will decide which uh, pro, pro, uh, service or product is good enough. To, to, to give to the customer. How do we define quality? OK, 
Okay, and who is responsible for the quality? Okay, next the process and capacity design. Okay, how is a good or service produce? How? Okay, before this, what we want to produce on the in the design, and for the process is how? How how to make it? What are the step? What are the process involved? Okay, commitment management to specific technology. Okay, quality and investment. And the question that usually asked is what process and capacity will this product require? Okay, how many process? And what equipment and technology is needed? Okay, what kind of machine is needed? What kind of uh, testing is needed for the uh, to produce the product or the service? Okay, next is the location strategy. Okay, is it near to the customer, near to raw material? Okay. And then you need to consider the cost, the cost of the building, the cost of the factory, the infrastructure, the transportation, and so on. Uh, the question uh, related to this is where should we put the facilities? Where should we move? Okay. And on what criteria should we base on the location decision? We will learn this uh, later on, I think in chapter three or four, if not mistaken. It will show you the method or the technique how to find the best location. Okay, next, the layout strategy. Okay, how to arrange your machine, how to arrange your in and out, and how large is your factory going to be? Okay, so it will cover the capacity needs, okay, the personnel, the workers, the operators, and then need to determine how is the flow, okay, where it should start, where it should stop, okay, so it, it, it will go under the layout strategy. And the sixth one is the human resource and job design. It related to uh, training, okay, to, to uh, give training to the employees, okay, to the operator, how to use the machine, okay, how to handle the inventory, how to, use, how to uh, rearrange all the uh, raw material. So this uh, under the human resource and job design. And the question asked is, how do we provide a reasonable work environment? So what work environment is very important. Do we provide the safe environment? What about the health okay, of the uh, employees? We need to consider that. And how much can we expect our employees to produce? Okay, So if you want to produce 100 pieces of a cake, okay, let's say you, you have a bakery, how many workers that you need? Okay, So you need to have the information. Okay, next the supply chain management. Okay, this is very important because it involves with the supplier, distributor along the chain so that we have a very smooth, uh, there's no hiccup during the production or operation. So, should we make or buy this component? Where we should buy? And who, with whom we should buy this? Okay, so all of this is very important in which integrate the supply chain so we align with the strategy, mission, and vision of the uh, company okay and then uh, after that we go into inventory management you have lots of inventory raw material finished good and so on and then how you decide how many to buy when to buy okay so all of this you need to decide and next is the scheduling okay this is involved with the time how to arrange the timing okay how to arrange the schedule how many workers need for each machine, each process? Can we complete the order within time? Okay. And which job do we do first? Which machine should run first? So all of this will go under the scheduling. And the last but not least, the maintenance. Maintenance is very important because if the if the if they face any problem or issues in which you involved with the downtime and so on. So, who is responsible for the maintenance? Okay, is our maintenance teams is good enough to do the in-house repair? Okay, or you need to to call people from outside to repair? Okay, when we do our maintenance, do we wait until breakdown, or we can uh, plan the maintenance activity because we don't want to have a sudden shutdown? Okay, that's that will cause lots of uh, problem. Okay, to the line. Okay, so I think that's all we have covered. Okay, we have covered the differences between the goods and the service. Okay, and then also we all uh, already covered on the 10 strategic decision by the operation. 
managers. And next, the part three, we're going to cover in the trend and issues in the operation management. Okay, what are the current trend? And also, we will look into the IR 4.0 or, or Industrial 4.0, the nine pillars and how it will uh, help the uh, industry. All right, so I'll see you in the next part. Bye.